Basilica San Giovanni Laterano, or Il Laterano. When the papacy was transferred to Avignon for about a century, the condition of the Lateran compound, the whole complex, deteriorated so badly that so much the papacy returned to Rome a hundred years later and the Pope lived in two other locations, finally settling adjacent to St. Peter's Basilica in what we know now as the Apostolic Palace. Except Pope Francis has decided not to live right away in the Apostolic Palace, but in a Vatican guest house in the Vatican compound in Vatican City. Just to refresh your memory as well, the word basilica comes from the Greek word meaning royal or royalty. Basileos in Greek means king. Basilica is a name given primarily to certain ancient churches of Rome and elsewhere, which were built usually in the fourth century and later in a form chiefly derived from that of Roman public and private halls. The church was approached through a portico beyond which was an open space with colonnades around it an atrium and on the far side an anteroom or narthex. The church itself was usually divided by columns into a nave and two aisles. Thus when we think of the great basilicas in Rome they follow this pattern. We think of St. Mary Major, St. Paul outside the walls, St. John Lateran. These are the great churches of Rome and St. Peter's Basilica of course. Now, in the course of history, St. John Lateran suffered just about as many disasters and revivals as the very papacy that it hosted. Here we see the crowd now welcoming the arrival of Pope Francis, arriving a simple black car from the Vatican. Many Romans out on a very beautiful day. Of course, in keeping with his tradition that he's established already, no need for very fancy vehicles of the Vatican fleet. He wants to travel very simply. And here he will be greeted by Cardinal Agostino Valini. Papa Francesco, as the crowd is hollering out here. The mayor of the city of Rome, Gianni Alemano, members of the city council. And this square, up until today, known as the Piazza San Giovanni in Laterano, will take on a new name. Well, Francis waving to the crowd in that now so familiar way. Standing next to him is Monsignor Sapienza from the pontifical household, the papal household. Now, as they approach the red carpet in the area where the plaque will be unveiled, calling this Largo Beato Giovanni Paolo II. the warmth. One can't help but think of some of his predecessors with that same smile. Pope John the 23rd, Blessed John the 23rd, the, the wonderful smile of Pope John Paul the First. Here we see now the time for the unveiling of the plaque. And voila. Piazza Beato Giovanni Paolo II. Blessing the plaque. Because this is a public square in the city of Rome, the city officials are all present. And certainly Pope John Paul II became such an important part of the city of Rome and Roman history. He took on the Roman, the Romanazzo dialect whenever he was with Romans in his visits in the many parishes over the nearly 27 years of his, his reign as Pope, he bonded with the people and just like his successor now, Pope Francis, is bonding with the people so well. Now the Pope will get into the Jeep open-air jeep. Many have expressed great concern 
over his rides through St. Peter's Square, that nothing will stop him from being accessible and being present to people. He doesn't need a, a glass dome over him. He just wants to be with the people. <coughs> One of the things that's characterized his papacy so far has been this, this boldness and courage to reach out and to touch people, to kiss babies, to caress the sick, the severely handicapped. He's very moved in. And these are not photo opportunities. These are not just fleeting moments. As many people have told us who know Pope Francis from before he arrived in Rome, this is Bergoglio, vintage Bergoglio. This is what he did in the streets of Buenos Aires, in the mercy villages as they're called, working with the poor, being with the poor. He's just continuing what he's always done. The Jeep has now entered into the Lateran complex. That building you see there are the diocesan offices for the Diocese of Rome. Palazzo